Fed up working from home? Got a poor workstation? Well, don't worry, it's nearly over for most people. Hang on in there. If you're likely to be working from home for a while though, then it's time to get your workstation sorted out to prevent neck and shoulder and back problems from uh, flaring up. You've got to tailor your workstation rather than force yourself into an awkward posture on the sofa or kitchen table, or you'll develop a pain in the neck, shoulders and back. Stress can also cause tight muscles in the shoulder and neck, so where possible, create a separate work area where you can concentrate and avoid the noise. The interruptions of home life do intrude. Here's a checklist to help you avoid some of the pitfalls of working from home and set up your workstation correctly. If you're using the kitchen table or a makeshift desk, make sure your shoulders are relaxed and your arms are bent at a 90 degree angle at the elbow. If you need to change your position to achieve this, try sitting on a cushion and if needed, placing your feet on a box so that your knees and hips are kept at a 90 degree angle too. Avoid neck pain by raising your screen up so that your eyebrows are at the top of the screen. Long periods of time looking down at your screen will definitely cause discomfort. If you're using a laptop, use a separate keyboard and mouse and raise the laptop up and get it further away from you so that you're not in that chin poked uh, head forward position. Several laptop stands exist, but we've yet to see one that is much better than a few books. And of course, you've got those lying around already. So avoid slouching or sitting close to your computer. Make sure your screen is kept at arm's length really, so your fingers are just about able to touch the screen. Take regular breaks or change your position every 20 or 30 minutes. This might simply mean standing up to chat on the phone uh, or making a cup of tea. If you need some extra help, then try setting up a postural reminder on your phone or computer. There are lots of apps available, but just an alarm going off every half an hour will do it. To avoid the dreaded repetitive strain injuries, then uh, avoid bad working postures and repetitive movements. Avoid working from your phone or tablet and always use a headset or headphones when making calls. Tucking a phone under here uh, as you're typing is bound to cause neck problems. At regular in intervals, switch your mouse from one side to the other. Also, voice recognition technology is always a good idea. Speech note is really useful and it's free. Lastly, and most importantly, move. Regular exercise and changing your work position are key if you have the resources. Invest in a sit to stand desk as this will also help alternate your working position. Right now, you have your desk situation sorted and it's time to get moving.